So after Frozen 2 being a very disappointing movie, right now I'm gonna go see Knives Out, which I heard nothing but great things about. Uh, this is an early screening, so I'm very excited about this movie. Um, trailers were all right, but I've been hearing nothing but great things about this movie, so that really raises my excitement a lot. So let's go in. Alright guys, so I did get a tripod, so it seems like it's working very well and I'm happy because I really did need a tripod for certain parts of my videos. But anyways, uh, let's talk about Knives Out, a movie I'm very excited to talk about. And um, by the way, it's at the screening, you know, they were giving out posters, which uh, it's, it's a cool poster, but there was one poster that had like a sticker in the back. And uh, whoever had the poster with the sticker in the back got a mug from the movie. Um, so it wasn't me, but if that would have been me, it would have been awesome because the, honestly, like, you especially after watching the movie wow uh so knives out is honestly a movie that i really wasn't looking forward to um the trailers weren't interesting to me really the, the, the reason why i saw this movie is because first of all i was getting a great review so uh that's kind of a good sign you know if i agreed with the reviews yeah but uh also the cast like why wouldn't you see a movie where you have like where you have daniel craig chris evans and michael shannon in the same movie like What's the reason to not seeing that movie? So um, I was I was looking forward to that for the cast in this movie, and uh, it's a movie directed by Ryan Johnson. Of course, he directed movies like Looper, uh, Star Wars: The Last Jedi. A lot of people didn't like that movie, but I really liked it. And you know, I was curious to see what uh, this movie could do because I do seem to enjoy these um, modern uh, mur murder mysteries or whatever. And in some degree, I guess you could say that this is a little similar two movies like Orient, uh, Murder on the Orient Express and other uh, similar murder mysteries, but at the same time, not really, because the movie has, the movie does something smart with its structure and the way the movie is overall just laid out. Uh, basically, like, in movies like Murder of the Orient Express, like, usually you can introduce these characters and then you just have to wait for the murder to happen about 30 minutes into the movie, and then after that, it's just, like, a mystery of who did it and who didn't do the murder you know it's stuff like that but here they do something a little bit more different which i don't really see that often i'm sure they've done it before but um it's something that i don't really see often like the, the basically the murder happens in the beginning of the movie and then like the rest of the two hours in the movie is a whole mystery and that's what i really loved about the movie the structuring uh, i honestly I, out of all the murder mystery movies that i've seen i don't think that i've seen any like this one Again, maybe some movies have done it, but not that I've seen. So um, I really like the way the movie is laid out and the way the movie is played out. I think it's a really smart and uh, idea. And I think that this is easily some of the best writing I've seen in any movie in all year. And also probably the best ensemble cast of the year. Like I said, you got actors like Chris Evans, Daniel Craig. Um, you got the kid from It. You got uh, Michael Shannon, Jamie Lee Curtis. You got all these high profile actors that we all know and they're all fantastic in this movie and honestly you know all the performances are really damn great in this movie now this movie just really it had me biting my nails i really didn't know where this movie was gonna go and yes i you know, i always do expect these twists and turns to happen but there's some of them that happen to a certain degree that i really did not expect at all and the movie just overall like it, it's it's a movie that honestly it's some of the most fun that i have in the theater all year because again it's one of those movies that just keeps you thinking for the entire runtime this movie runs for a little bit over two hours long and for a movie to really keep me thinking for more than what an hour that's fantastic because the movie had my attention the whole time the story was there it, it, it was heavily focused on for the like a good movie should for the, all the two hours that this movie um, that this movie was, 
and you know it just had all these great characters or characters that you kind of get to know but as the movie goes on you get to know more about the characters which i really did dig as well and the movie just has this mystery that you think is that that you think at one point it's going to end but it never really ends and it just keeps on going and it never gets to the point where it's too, like frustrating or anything it's it's honestly really enjoyable and super fun to watch and again you're never going to know where this movie's going to go and that's what i love about this movie how unpredictable this movie absolutely is um aside from how smart and how sharp the writing really is in this movie i think that ryan johnson did a outstanding job with this movie i cannot wait to see what he does next of course um his career probably went down the hill with uh star wars the last jedi because a lot of people did not like that movie there are a fair amount of people that do like that movie but uh from what i'm seeing a lot of people are like hating on ryan johnson just because of what he did with that star wars movie but with knives out i'm sure his career at, at least like to other people a lot of people are going to see him in a, in a much better way which i'm really excited about and um I'm excited for you guys to see this movie. Please do go and see it. I don't really want to talk more about it because I don't, I don't really want to go into detail about this movie in this review. I just want to give you my simple thoughts of what I thought about the movie and what I absolutely loved. I pretty much absolutely loved everything about this movie. Um, one of my favorite movies of the year. And, and, and I, I think this is in my top five movies of the year, actually. So that's always great. And it's, it's just an, it's such an unexpected surprise. So anyways, with that being said, honestly, you have to pay full price to watch this movie so you can support it at the box office and make sure it does good at the box office. Um, but anyways, yeah, for my grade for this movie, I'm going to give Knives Out an A. So absolutely believe the hype. I highly encourage you guys to go check this one out. It's definitely worth your time. But anyways... Have you guys seen Knives Out? If you guys seen it, what did you guys think about it? Tell me in the comment section below. Or are you guys going to go see it? Um, did I convince you enough? Or did I not convince you? I mean, either way, the movie's getting amazing reviews. So hopefully those at least encourage you to go watch the movie out when it comes out this weekend. But yeah, please do watch this movie. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.